and her father is actually a farm bull and she's a pretty nice heifer here she's kind of a pet so usually if we can't push them in and they're they're a lot you know they're really a pet we'll put a halter on them and uh, just guide them into the robot and then we'll show you the milking process on their first milking in the VMS. So we ended up having to put the halter on her and we got her into the stall now and we're gonna start milking her. So we'll show you guys how we do that. So the heifer's in the stall now and because her teats have not been mapped on the X and Y axis, uh, the way we do it, we milk them first by hand manually and then we'll map her teats and we'll show you that process. The first step in the process is using the teat cleaner on her so she can get used to it. So we'll get this arm out of the way. She's up there eating grain and then we'll press prepare, clean teats manually and then we're going to release the cleaner. Put it onto the teeth and then start cleaning. Keep in mind, this is her her first time in the stall. This is her first time ever being milked. Some of them will kick a little bit at this, and some of them won't. She's being pretty good. This is pretty typical for our farm. We don't get many efforts that really kick, fortunately. So it's, uh, it's kind of like a little uh, power washer inside that cup. It's using a mixture of iodine and warm water. And so now we're going to close the teeth cleaner and we're going to go to milk. And I'll, I'll check her milk first visually just to make sure there's no abnormal milk. Make sure the teeth orifices are unplugged because this is her first time milking sometimes you'll get some skin or or whatnot on there like that one make sure they're nice and clear so whenever we attach the unit it, the milk flow is coming out freely and it's not going to hurt her at all because you want her first milking to be the best you possibly can make it. Her first experience in the robot is going to determine how she responds in the future, whether or not she wants to come in by herself. And so you want to make it very calm and easy on her. That way she wants to come back in. So now the, the milking units are attached. And she's gonna milk out and eat grain. Then we're gonna trim this excess hair off of her tail. Cause this is uh, 
not very hygienic for the milking parlor when you got manure and stuff swinging all around by the milking unit. And we'll throw this away. So as you can see, she's pretty calm, not moving around, busy eating her grain. Another thing to keep in mind is this, we quit feeding grain um, at about six months old. Uh, we only feed grain six to eight months depending on the time of the year and the body condition. So this, this animal here hasn't had grain for, you know, over a year. And uh, so she's got to kind of figure out what it is again. And most of them figure it out pretty fast. So this is her milk flow. Right here. And you can see the right front, right rear, left front, left rear. This is how much she's given so far, 10.8 pounds. And the uh, milk destination is going into our colostrum bucket so we can feed the baby calf. Those are over there. So one thing to note uh, when you're training a, a first calf heifer in a robot, and it may not be possible in all barns, but as you can see, the we like our holding pen to be empty. That way she cannot see any other animals and she does not get triggered to want to go. Because cows are followers most of the time and they're gonna wanna follow their herd mates. And so if you don't allow any other cows in here, then it's not gonna trigger her to wanna move. And that kind of makes it easier for her in the stall so she doesn't move around and, and get fussy. And you know, in all robotic barns, that's not possible. It's only possible with, you know, barns that have a holding pin. Uh, I don't see you being able to do that on a free flow farm. But, that's just one of the things that we've learned. Um, we've had the robots in for uh, about a year and a half. And we've trained, oh, probably 50, I think I, it's right around 50 heifers through the robot. And you learn what to do and what not to do after each one. So that does make a difference. So now the, the cups are coming off according to flow. Once her flow drops below a certain um, point, it'll remove the cups one by one. So it's called quarter milking versus a regular milking parlor. You're milking all four sheets at once. And this way you're not over milking any teats. It's better for the teat health. Just about done here. Got one left to go. You want to make sure the first milking you're providing enough grain to keep them occupied. On our heifers uh, versus cows that have been in here already, we like to feed uh, not more grain, but we like to feed it faster to keep their head down and keep them occupied. That way they're not uh, worried about what's going on on their udder. So that's the, the last cup come off. And now we're gonna map her teats. We're gonna give the robot an idea of where her teat locations are. So next time when she comes in, it knows where to search. So here we go. We're gonna go VMS menu, teach, and we're gonna put the unit in manual. And then you gotta hold this button halfway in. Hold on. This is her manger position. Uh, she's all the way back. She's a small Jersey heifer. So we're gonna press next. And then to confirm the joystick, we press this bottom button. And now the arm's gonna come down and it's gonna allow us to manually teach and map her teeth. So we're gonna start with the right front. And we're gonna come in and we're gonna go about an inch in front of the teeth, 
and about a quarter of the way up. So an inch from the edge here to the end of her teeth. And we're gonna click it and that's mapped. Then we're gonna come out, same thing on the left front. And on the heifers, you wanna stay down towards the, the tip of the teeth because when, it, when the robot searches, it goes up and down and you don't want the camera ramming into her udder so much. So that one's good there. And then the right rear. And her teats are mapped. So now the robot knows where to search for those teats when she comes in to milk next time. So we're gonna put the remote back. They call it a joystick, but it doesn't look like a joystick to me. We're gonna put the machine back in automatic. We're gonna go out of there, and then we're gonna disinfect her. And that's gonna spray her post, her post iodine spray. That's a tri-fender is what we use. It's a Dina Ball product. And so now she's free to go. So now the heifer's been milked and we need to teach her the route to go. Once she's been milked, she needs to go through this automatic sort gate, which is gonna then sort her to whatever pasture that she's designated to go to. Right now, they're going out to the AM pasture and that's until 10 o'clock, and then after 10 o'clock they go to the PM pasture and so forth. So we're gonna guide her out. And that's it, that's a wrap. And about 80% or more, I haven't really done the math, but most efforts, they will actually use the robot from here on out on their own. We do not push them at all. Um, you know, there is that percentage that we do have to push maybe two, maybe three, maybe four times, or maybe for a week. You know, we'll push them in twice a day until they get the, the rhythm and the, the routine of using it. But like I said, believe it or not, most of the animals, they want to come back, they want to eat a little bit of grain, and they want to get milk. So that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If so, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.